Hi, I'm Allie, and today I am making Christmas cubes. And so the first, you'll, so you will need some dark chocolate, I mean not dark chocolate, milk chocolate. You can use dark chocolate if you like dark chocolate. But I'm using milk chocolate about this size, a pack about this size, some white chocolate, that's a pack about this size, some more white chocolate that's also this size and caramel balls i i'm using balls because the way we are going to make them you're going to need red and green sprinkles and red and green dye so the first thing you'll need to do is microwave your your Dark one, you're gonna have to microwave one pack of the milk chocolate and one pack of the white chocolate. After you microwave in both your, after you melted both your chocolate and your, both your chocolates, you will take your mold. I have this mold. I know there is circles in this mold, but this is just has a pretty design inside it. So I just wanted to see how that looks. And so these, I'm gonna use this first, but so the first thing I need to do is pour some white chocolate in here. Pour some, I mean, brown chocolate. Now some white. And some br brown. It may get a little messy because it's messy for me. That's perfectly fine. Here, just, just pour it all in. You may need a bigger bowl. Which, this is a bigger bowl, so I'm just going to pour it all in this big bowl. So, after you have uh, poured it all in this bowl, so after you have put it all into this bowl, you don't wanna mix it, like you don't wanna mix it all together Cause you kind of want it to be like so you don't want to mix it like do this gently with the I'm using fork a fork do this gently because the the black the brown chocolate takes over most of the times so you want to do this gentle all right so that's kind of pretty See how it's pretty? Okay. Okay, now you're gonna take the spoon. You're gonna take the spoon, pick up a little bit. Put it in the mold. So then you're gonna take some caramels and put it on top. Of the chocolate. You don't wanna fill the chocolate all the way in cause you want the caramel to be kind of in the middle. So, then you put more chocolate on top of it. So, so do this till all the molds are full.
So now you're going to have to get the sprinkles and the dye. And also your mold. And you're also going to need either a plate, a parchment paper. I think that's what it's called. Foil, you can use anything to not get chocolate on the on the table. So you're going to want to take out the molds. So the next thing you're going to want to do, put your chocolates aside. And you're going to take your bowls and you're going to split all your your white chocolate that you have and split it equally. And melt your chocolate. So now you will take your dye and put it in your chocolate. That is not what I meant. Do not do that. I did not mean uh okay. Um yeah. I did not mean do that. So don't don't do that. <laughs> Just don't. So, make sure it's all mixed in there. And get your chocolate. And so here is what you are going to do. So you're going to kind of have to, you kind of want to push it, the other ones to the side. See how pretty this is. This is so pretty. That is just pretty the way that is. So you're going to want to take your spoon and on one side pour some chocolate. I think I use a lot of chocolate for just that one, but it's okay, right? All right, now you're gonna take some green and pour on that side. Hold on. Make sure it's covering the whole thing. That, that kind of looks pink, but it's fine. And so do not wait till it melts to add your sprinkles. You're going to pour put a little red sprinkles on this side, a little green on this side. So it's like Christmassy. When it's finished, get a plate. Finish, get a plate, and you're going to have to get your hands kind of messy. And pick it up as best as you can and put it on. I mean, you can smooth it out because, like, that's kind of thick if you want to. And just, oh, I didn't know we didn't get that side. Oh, yeah, so you're going to want to um, not do what I did just now. You're going to kind of want to smooth it out. 
when you pour like pour it and smooth it out your watch if you get a knife it will be much better it will be much better if you get a spoon oh that wasn't You're going to want one green spoon and one red spoon. Just smooth it out. And then do not wait till it dry. This is just a messy little fun recipe to... Probably gonna get the dye better than I did, but that's a lot of sprinkles. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do now. So yeah. There. I hope you try this recipe that I invented. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.